There's some words that are perfectly clean but sound like they could be filthy if you gave them just a little help. Word like pussyfoot. It's perfectly clean, but when you say pussyfoot, there's a little giggle. Because people know that with a little help, this word could be filthy. No matter what form of the verb you try, it's clean as a verb. But pussyfoot could be a noun. It could be a noun, pussyfoot. A rare disorder. <laughs> a female birth defect. <laughs> Hello, boys. I have pussyfoot. God, you sure do, lady. And I love them open-toed shoes you have on. Well, I'd rather have pussyfoot than woodpecker. I can say that. <laughs> or beer nuts. God, that must be awful. Beer nuts. The official disease of Milwaukee. I know whenever I see the little canister behind the bar, I drop in a couple of dollars for beer nuts. I think we need a lot more research on beer nuts or cotton balls, which is the dreaded final stage of beer nuts. When my beer nuts turn to cotton balls, I'll be heading home to you. It's an old southern hymn. There are lots of little phrases like that in the language that don't quite say what they mean. Take a shit is another one. Take a shit? You don't take a shit, you leave a shit. That's the whole idea. To leave it. I left a shit. Fine, thank you, Jeff. In the ass box. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit. Don't take one of mine. <laughs> I only have two left, and the weekend is coming up. <laughs> Why don't you go home and take one of your own shit? <laughs> guy's always mooching off me. He must think I made a shit or something. Oh, that shit don't grow on trees, you know. Well, enough of that shit. <laughs> Lots of little phrases like that. Pick your nose is a, well, blow your nose. Blow your nose is a phrase. Imagine that. Blowing your nose. <laughs> I believe they really mean that, do you? You can't blow your nose. I believe it's physically impossible to blow your nose. You might get somebody else to blow your nose. But it would have to be a real good friend. Cocktails. Another clean word. You can advertise them. You can put up signs all over town. Cocktail. As long as you use both halves of the word, perfectly fine. But you can't advertise either one of those two items if you break those words in half. They'll come and take your sign down. Cocktails. It's okay. It depends on how you say that kind of word. You ladies like some cocktails? Hey, lady. You want a cocktail? laugh about that cockpit get it oh yeah Bangkok there's a lovely city how would you like to be a hooker in Bangkok would seem like a natural habitat peacock NBC is really proud of their peacock you know what a female peacock is a peacock <laughs> 